Yes. Go, 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 go! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Oh, yes! <laughs> uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Firmware 12 and its awesome features to create a reaction video in just a few minutes. Hi everyone, this is Chloe from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. The Final Four is a combination of NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, also known as March Madness. Tons of people want to film reactions or breakdowns of their favorite team's matches. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the awesome features in Filmora 12 to create reaction videos in just a few minutes. If you haven't already downloaded Filmora 12, Get started at fromwarethewannashare.com or click the link in the description. Before making the reaction video, let's have all the footage that we want to include ready. To record the screen using Fomora's built-in tools, you can select Screen Recorder on the Startup window. Or enter Player Panel, click File, Record Media, then choose the Record option. Once the screen recorder pops up, you can choose to disable or enable your computer speakers and microphone and adjust the settings include frame rate, quality, and set your own custom countdown. Press the rec button to start recording. The recorded video will be dropped in the media library automatically. To use the picture in picture feature, place the video you're reacting to on the timeline and place the reaction video on the top. Click on the top video in the preview window and use the handles to adjust its size. If you would like to change the on-screen position of the overlay clip, simply click on it and drag it to the new location within the preview window. To add mask to the video overlay, go to Effects, then choose Utility on the left. Select Image Mask or Shape Mask to apply it to video overlay. Fomora also allows you to compose the overlay video with the main video in a better way by adjusting blending mode and opacity. With the human segmentation effect in AI Portrait, you can create a transparent background even without a green screen. To play two videos simultaneously with split screen template, drag and drop the template you want to use in your reaction video to the timeline. Drag the video clips from the media tab and drop them onto the section of the preview window where you want them to be located. Click on them if you want to adjust their sizes, mute their audio tracks, or add a new audio file to the template. To create a comedic effect, zoom in using slow motion and keyframe. Drag the speed slider if you would like to adjust the motion. To zoom in on the video, right-click on the video on the timeline and then select Crop and Zoom from the submenu. You can always select the video in the timeline and click on the Crop and Zoom icon in the toolbar. You can manually select the crop area to make a zoom effect in the original video or keep the zoom in area in different aspect ratio. In the crop and zoom window, switch to pan and zoom tab to change the section of the video that appears at the start or end of the effect. Select the rectangles to adjust the crop size and drag it on the window to set target positions. To add a freeze frame, position the playhead at the exact spot in the video clip. Then, right-click on the clip and select the freeze frame option. Drag one of the bar's edges to change the duration of a freeze frame. You can do it! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Pass him! Pass him! Pass him off! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no! Oh! Yes! And now, you know how to make a reaction video easily using Firmware Top. Which game do you want to make a reaction for? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!